What's up guys? How's everyone doing? Hope your day is going well. Mine's going pretty good, so you should have be having a good one too. Now, the video that I want to, or the subject I want to cover in this video is why you should stop taking Accutane or any type of medicine for your acne. Any, honestly. And this is from my experience. I mean, I still have my, my acne, but it's gotten tremendously better from doing this. So I was taking, ac not Accutane, I was taking um, tretinoin cream, you know, tretinoin, just about earlier this year, early 2018. And I was doing it because, you know, my roommate kept suggesting to take tretinoin cream. I mean, he actually kept suggesting Accutane because he had taken Accutane in the summer, but I was really resistant to it because um, I just heard all the harsh side effects and I didn't think it was natural. I didn't think it was good. But eventually um, I gave in because I just couldn't understand, you know, why I kept having acne being this old. I would have figured it would have went away by now, but it didn't. So I went to the, to the dermatologist. I got tretinoin cream taking it in my face to get better, but it never fully got better. And it wasn't until I changed my diet. Your gut health is key. You will see that everywhere. In the Western world, this is what we like to do. We like to prescribe medications that mask side effects of the root cause. If you find the root cause, that side effect and whatever else you're plagued with should go away. As long as you're continually focusing on that root cause, making sure another one doesn't arise and you're staying balanced. For example, what I found out that I had was Candida. Now, no, I didn't go to a doctor, but I looked at all the signs, um, I changed my diet, and as long as the universal messages I was being given, specifically um, numerology, I'm into big numerology, um, I always look at the times, well, not always, but I notice, you know, there are certain times that tend to pop up when I have certain thoughts in my mind. You know, for example, I tend to see 9-11 a lot. I tend to see 555. Um, I used to see 11-11 a lot more. I don't anymore. Um, that's generally when you're starting as a whole. I, I'm not even going to get into that. This is not about that video. But listen, address your diet. Your diet's honestly probably 90% of your acne, honestly. You could, like for me, I've even been paying less attention to, you know, washing my face and whatnot, just because I have trust in the diet. If the diet in itself is fully, you know, balanced, your gut health is good, that's key, gut health. Because you can have a good diet, you could think you have a good diet. For example, my old roommate, he always tells me, you know, he has such a great diet, so he shouldn't have these issues, but he has literally all these symptoms of candida. Extreme brain fog, um, horrible sleep. Um, let's see, what else? I'm not, no, I'm not even gonna get into his side effects, but I could tell because I roomed with him and we had similar things, you know, fatigue, all that from the candida. So definitely Give Candida a check because I honestly think probably 75 of Americans have Candida or at least some other form of a fungal infection. And I'm going to tell you what, if you want to learn more about that, you need to check out Paul Check. I've learned so much more from Paul Check about health and wellness in the past two to three months that I did my whole three years of being vegan because the dogma with being vegan and the, the cult like, like it, it is kind of cult like, you know, I'm not gonna lie because I was vegan for three years. I can talk about this. Some people might be triggered. Oh well, um, that's life. But that's from my experience, my wisdom, what I've seen when I've shifted my awareness outside of just myself, shifting it in other parts. 
So that's that. Fix the gut health, you know. Take some probiotics, human grade probiotics, such as um, I have one from. I'll actually pull it out right now. Hold on. Doctor formulated. Doctor formulated probiotics once daily, 90 billion CPU. So that's what I've been taking, but um, you could take more, you could take a little less, but do something. Another thing, Candida supports. I, you're not gonna be able to see this because I'm doing the, the front screen video recording on my phone, but it's Candida support supplements. It just has antifungals. So that's been helping me tremendously as well. So in terms of your diet, what I suggest is cut out all processed carbs. Anything that converts into glucose very quickly. And this is if you're going for candida. I mean, if you're just going for general diet, definitely check into Paul Check's work and look at the primal pattern diet, which pretty much is eating for your genetics where your you know genetic build is it from closer to an equator or farther away and that will dictate what foods you tend to eat more of a consumption of but i'm not going to tell you never eat carbs again never eat fat eat all the protein that's not what i'm going to tell you because everyone is individual so yeah that's it that is my advice so enough with the prescriptions for acne fix your diet don't be lazy care about your health it's important don't wait till you're 40 to start caring about your health when you're loaded with prescriptions and you feel horrible and you can barely move so you can't spend time with your family okay focus on your health now take care